It looks like Amazon's been going crazy over the past couple of weeks on Victorinox sales, so I decided to pick up my first one, and here it is. What's going on, everybody? This is Lamar with MF and Research. This is my first Victorinox. This is the Deluxe Tinker. Shout out to this comment right here for putting Victorinox on my radar. I'm gonna be honest, they weren't always on my radar because I just always thought of them as a pocket knife that I had when I, when I was a kid. And man, I've been sleeping on them for all this time. I mean, usually when I see them in reviews, I just kind of ignore it and just say, okay, yeah, whatever, whatever. But thought I'd give it a shot. Hopefully you'll see why this isn't a bad little multi-tool. And if you don't like this one in particular, it doesn't quite work out for you. I've got a couple other ideas you might want to consider as well. So now let's go over some of the tools that are in here. So first off, you've got a large blade, a small blade, Phillips screwdriver, got a tool I've never had on a multi-tool before, a can opener, can't wait to try that out. Got a large screwdriver and a small screwdriver. You also have a tool that doesn't mean much to me, but it's a bottle opener. So some people love them, it's on here. You've got the probably the two things that I bought this thing for, the pliers that are a combination. They've got a wire stripper, all that good stuff, pliers, all that stuff's on here. You can do some basic wire cutting and stuff, wire stripping, crimping. You can do some of that stuff with that. On the back, you've got this multi-purpose hook. My goal is to figure out what I'm gonna do with that. I've seen a couple ideas, but I'm gonna try a couple things. I think I'm gonna use it to help carry in groceries. You've got a reamer all type setup. You can do basic sewing with that. You've got a toothpick. You've got a pair of tweezers on here. And I'm pretty sure just going through it, I think I might've missed something, but check the thumbnail. It's got a ton of tools on here. It's a dope little multi-tool and I'm definitely feeling it. So not too long ago, I did a review on this guy, the Bolster. And since this is the most recent multi-tool purchase, I know it's been a little while since I've had it. I thought I'd compare the two. So first off, I mean, that size footprint is definitely a difference um, depending on how you look at it. The width, especially with the pocket clip, and I'm usually gonna carry it in a pouch or a bag anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. This blade, I do like that blade better, but they're probably just as sharp. Um, you can get to the tools a lot easier on here. You don't have to go through all these steps. It's still two-handed either way, but that's okay. You don't have the, the serrated blade. You don't have the file that you have right there. Um, that's probably the only thing that I'm missing on here comparing the two. I really wish it had a file, but there's other tools for that. And the pliers and stuff on here, I think are way better than these on here. But in a pinch for probably 75% of what I need, this is probably going to get me through. So it's, I don't think it's a loss. So what you sacrifice from giving up a couple little tools on here, you gain a few more tools on here. And I actually like, like the Phillips on here way better and a couple other things and you get a smaller footprint and that to me is probably more important especially if i'm throwing this in like a slim pouch or something like that so definitely not a bad idea definitely something to look at so all right before we go on i thought i'd give you five other recommendations in the Victorinox lineup that are on amazon that are on sale at different times that might be good for you to check out so let's just begin in no particular order i've got the huntsman and based on what i'm seeing it seems like a popular choice among the outdoor enthusiasts. The Huntsman, it's got a large blade, it's got a wood saw, it's got scissors, a corkscrew, a can opener, and a ton of other tools. It'd probably be best in camping, hiking, and any of those outdoor activities. I guess that's why it's called the Huntsman. The Field Master is basically a Huntsman, but it just switches out the corkscrew for a Phillips. And figuring out for you which one you need more would help you determine out of those two. The Ranger is another choice that has that camper outdoor activity in mind. It offers a large large blade, the wood saw, scissors, a screwdriver, a can opener, and a wire stripper and a few other tools. I think this is a good balance between outdoor functionality and everyday carry. So this is that good hybrid between the two. And last up, the compact seems like a good balance between a minimal carry and having the maximal functionality in a small footprint. It features a large blade, a corkscrew, a mini screwdriver, um, scissors, it's got a bottle opener, it's got a can opener, it's got a screwdriver, it's got a wire stripper, it's got the multi-purpose hook, it's got a nail file, a toothpick, tweezers, a pressurized ballpoint pen, a stainless steel pen, and a small compact package. Man, that's a good functionality. And I think I might just add this one to replace a few of the tools in my cigar EDC that is right here. Oh, I messed up and said last up, I had one more. 
And I know that the other, based on the other four, based on the one that I have, I kind of draw towards that narrow footprint, but I made one exception for this one, and this is the cyber tool. It's more for those tech enthusiasts and those IT professionals. So if you're doing any kind of electronic disassembly and assembly, I think that's perfect for that. It's got over 30 tools, and what makes it stand out is it's got hex bits and it's got a bit wrench wire cutters and a whole bunch of other stuff so check that out especially if you've got electronic repairs to do or other tech related tasks i'll say i'm excited about this little guy i've got good plans for it i've been looking around trying to see what kind of mods they have looking at other alternatives for maybe importing a fire starter in here changing out the scales all kind of stuff man I, I like when you can customize tools to kind of fit your needs or fit what your style or your aesthetic or whatever so that's fun i like to customize when i can so I'm going to have fun with this guy. Um, take any recommendations that you guys have. I will say that I'll put links in the description on Amazon for some of these, but I will warn you, check around a little bit. Make sure you find the best sale price. And you might even want to wait a few days because the price does change a little bit. I've got a couple more that are on my eye, one for me, uh, one for my wife, and maybe one for just the backup gift to just have on deck. Forgot to mention, uh, the nerd item for the night is going to be the Black Panther mug. Um, it's a stein, know what steins are used for. I'm about to take care of that as soon as I wrap up this video. And I've got my cigar ADC kit, so you know, putting those two together, you know what that means. If you see the smoke in the background, that's not it yet. That is actually my diffuser, so got a whole little scene going on. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, check out some of these other videos. Let me know in the comments because, man, the comments definitely come in clutch. I'm loving what I'm seeing in the comments. Shout out to everybody in the comments. Shout out to the new subscribers. Y'all take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. MF and Research out.